take a look around. Take a look around and observe your surroundings. Where are you right now? Are you sitting inside of a room? Is there anyone else with you? Are you all alone? Most sources indicate that the majority of people that read horror tales are by themselves. Something about this genre and medium compel you to experience it in a quiet room, all alone. But why is that? Why subject yourself to fright and solitude? What compels you to purposely scare yourself, to fill your imagination with visions of grotesque and the supernatural? Do you enjoy the feeling of what some deem as paranoia? What thrill can come from being suspicious of that shadowy figure moving in the corner of your eye? That shadow that you think isn't anything? Listen closely. Is there a noise you hear that wasn't there before? Take a look around. Is there anything you didn't notice originally? Is there something different? Is something out of place? That feeling on your back of the neck. Is it your imagination? Or is it just too faint to pinpoint? When you read, you expand the limitations of your mind. Clear of auditory and visual distractions that can push your conscience to perceive at levels you do not naturally reach. The longer you read, the more you become aware. Maybe of things you thought weren't there. There is a reason why your brain would block all these sensations out. No, it can, no one can be sure why. Maybe your mind is warning you. Maybe there are things you weren't meant to see. Things you didn't realize were there. Things that cannot be unseen. Things you cannot forget. Things that shouldn't be. Take a look around. 